Hi, I'm Kat. I'm Elizabeth. I've been a member of a dog group for a number of years and two years ago we lost one of our dear members. Um, I was able to work with her children and purchase the dolls uh, from her estate, her entire collection, but I didn't know how many she had. I really had no clue. <laughs> I knew she had a lot, no clue how many. I live very far away from, from where she lives, so friends who live closer arranged to buy a uh, rent a truck and pack the dolls for me. And the collection took, takes up an entire 15 foot storage unit. And we have no idea what's in each box since we did not pack them. And we figured you all would like to join us, see what's in each box as we discover her treasures. We know that the collection had Barbie, vintage and modern, American Girl, Cabbage Patch Kids, Connor, Ashton Drake, Wild Imagination, Ruby Red, and Modern BJDs, among many, many other things. Most of these dolls will be listed. They'll be listed on eBay and Etsy, and the links to both of those shops will be in the description of each video. Uh, so, let's see what we've got. Let's see what's in these boxes. All right. Oh my goodness. Who is Jody? Um, it looks like a... It's not Barbie. No, it looks like it's a it's clone. A clone of the little uh, Kelly dolls. Riding a horse. Wigs. Oh, cool. Lots of wigs. Monique Gold wigs. I don't even know what size they are. Most of them are... Oh, there's a 5.6 and a 6.7. This is a 7.8 for dimples. That's just the name. Lots of wigs. Okay, we're not going to take forever looking at wigs. We can try on wigs later. Wig, wig, wig. Okay, Betsy McCall. Sun Fun is the doll in the box. Is the doll in the box? Well, sort of. There's a doll and some clothing. Extra clothes. Oh, fun. All right. Mary Englebright, eight inch once upon a time. She is a Queen and Parasol Party Oriental. Oh, she's gorgeous. How about Candy Corn Collection? Betsy McCall. Aww. That one's cute. This is a tip of his hat from Tonner Doll Company. And it is from the Dr. Seuss line. Oh, it's one of the Dr. Seuss ones. Okay, Ruby Red. Ruby Red in Motion Girl Belinda. Oh. You know we like the Ruby Red. Oh, there she is. Oh, she is so cute. Get her little head thing off. Whoop! Taking her wig off too. There she is, Belinda. We have a pack of American Model Connor shoes. Lovely high heel shoes. And this says Mini Tara Normal. By a BJD. Yes, it is a BJD. We're just going to show you the head. And she comes with a cute little outfit and shoes and a wig. Okay, next. We have a Wentworth, Tyler Wentworth from Tonner accessory pack. This one is sealed. We're going to need to get a knife up here. I guess we will need to get a knife. Okay. So we'll wait on that for a moment. Okay, this is a vintage F and B. And it is a sailor boy of some sort. So we will have to look up his name. The Bobsy Twins, that's who he is. One of the Bobsy Twins, vintage F and B. And here we have the girl Bobsy Twin of the vintage F&B, and she comes with
with a little booklet about their story. Cute. It's a fair bit. Alright, this is Tonner Confetti Color Shoe Pack. I don't know who it is though. I don't think it's Elwin. It's probably Tyler like this one is. Tyler Wentworth shoes. And this is another Tyler Wentworth shoes called Flat Steps. Here we have I Dream of Dreary from Tonner. Agnes. She is missing her original outfit. A box of looks like handmade, handmade bubble hats Ooh. and a little snowman sweater. Oh, I guess there's a whole set of hat and sweaters. Sweaters and hats. I wonder what size. This one is Connor Dinner Dance. That um, Kitty Collier, maybe. That's not safe. It's not Tyler because it's too small. Yes, it looks like it's a kitty. Lovely, lovely. This is the Tyler Basic Necessities Kitty Collier. somewhere but there you go all right this one is very odd punch from Connor which is also the Dr. Seuss and lastly in this box we have Cindy's Halloween tree Oh, it's a Cindy doll. It? It's a Tonner Cindy doll. Yeah, Tonner redid the Cindy. I can't remember that. I did not remember that either. And there we go. Okay, very nice. All right. Okay, now it's all okay. Right. Now, hopefully, there's dolls in these boxes because <laughs> they could be empty. Bobbles, bangles, and blues. Hello and wild. Sorry. And here she is. She's got a nice little tiara on her. Essential Elwin 4 Blonde. Okay, this is the Essential Elwin Blonde 4 Convention or something. Fun box. This is the Elwin Wild Psy Society. This is the Prudence from the Elwin Wild, and it says, Am I? Okay. This, uh, no, because this appears to be a, a handmade outfit. Oh, I wonder if that is one of the ones that Judy and, or Sherry or Duana made. So this is a, this is a custom Elwin Wild doll, probably from one of the retreats we did. Um, she will be going back to the designer. 
We have the Essential Prudence for wigged variety. Yes. This is a toner. It says peppermint twist on the box. And she is one of the ballerinas. It says Freedom for Fashion Story Aiko from Tana. Uh, that should be a male. It should be one of the male dolls. No, nope, it is not. No? Huh. It's Aiko, so Aiko. Oh, sorry, Aiko. Maybe that's the female. That's, yes. Okay. So she's a, an Asian version. Okay, this is Vintage Baker Crew from Ellen Wild. Ooh. Turn her head. This is a cute little outfit she's wearing. And she's got a rolling pin. Wearing a vintage apron. Very cute outfit. This is the Vintage Tea L-O-N. for limited edition. 2015 Tonner Convention. Yep, this is the convention. I'm going to try to turn her head. And she comes with a little tea set as well as her little vintage outfit. Very, very cute. It says, my was my Wistful Season, Ellen Wild. Together. Yep. And then we've got two boxes, shipper boxes taped together. One says Joan Crawford on the box, ready for wardrobe, but we have an empty box, only a stand in this one, so we'll have to try to track down the doll. Okay. And this one says Friday Faster on the box, but it also appears to be an empty box with just a stand inside. So we'll try to track down the doll. Friday Foster. Friday Foster. Okay. And that is the end of our so seven that is box. two boxes.